Hey all, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for April 16th, 2019. The character is the defect, and the modifiers are Chimera. Your starting deck is a fusion of three characters. Red cards, red cards now appear in rewards and shops. And big game hunter, elite enemies are now swarming the spire and drop better rewards. Let's get started. So let's briefly review the Chimera deck. Um, it has three strikes, three defense, and then zap, survivor, and bash. Let's also review the path. Now, unfortunately with Chimera, um, we're not going to have a lot of firepower at the beginning to take out elites. Um, so we do want to try to hit a shop. So if we go on the left, we can do five elites. That's pretty much the best thing. And there's an early shop too. So let's do that. We do want to pick up at least one card that will allow us to uh, really show those elites who's boss. Um, I think I'll defend here for max. Okay, we're taking some damage. All right, uh, we can kill you and then zap and survivor. Okay. Then we should be able to kill here. All right, yeah, we need something to do damage. Uh, Feel no pain would help with the sentries this floor. Um, and I, it would be generally nice since I do want to go for an exhaust build. Twin strike would just be a useful attack. I think I'll go with Feel no pain here. All right, we need something strong. Ooh, very sad that preserved insect is a little too expensive. We were planning to hit a lot of elites. I'm thinking Sunder. That might be a really good card to uh, help us with elites. Um, I don't think... I mean, Dramatic Entrance would be nice, but I think Sunder is better. Let's take that. Let's also try to upgrade that as soon as possible. Do I want to go for a Defragment? Might be useful if we encounter Frost Orbs. We just have r enough money for that, and... Uh, you know, it seems like that's a sign. Let's take it. Okay. Um, Alright, so Feel No Pain is admittedly going to be pretty useless until... Um, until... Hang on, how do I want to do this? Uh, let's do Bash and Strike. Actually, Zap. That way we have a chance. Yep, perfect. To kill the Frontliner. Yeah, feel no pain is going to be pretty useless until uh, we actually pick up some exhaust energies, but I definitely want to pick some up. Um, Beam Cell versus FTL. Beam Cell might be some nice zero cost card. Um, Clothline would apply weakness to the enemy, which might be nice. FTL would be card draw for zero cost. You know what? I'll go with FTL here. Um, well, if we pick up a curse already, we're going to have trouble exhausting it right now. I guess we have Survivor to discard it. Yeah, fine. We should definitely try to get five curses at least. Uh, second curse is dangerous, but uh, I, I think I'll risk it. That mob bank, whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. Alright, here we do get the sentry, so if we can get the uh, field no pain out, that would be great. And we fully defend here? Uh, I mean, we can try. I don't... Actually, I don't think it makes sense to fully defend since next turn we have 18 incoming and there's no way we can defend against that. So uh, I'd rather get a Sunder in. Okay. Yeah, if I had defended that turn, this turn, there was just nothing I could have done. So uh, Defragment, Defend, and a Strike. All right. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage here. Um, let's see. Definitely want to get the Feel No Pain out. Let's do FTL, see what we get. Okay, Feel No Pain. Um, I'll do a Strike and Zap. Okay. Alright, Sunder, uh, almost kills. Yeah, we're not getting lucky with, uh, drawing defensive cards here. And Regret is gonna deal some damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we took a little more uh, damage in this combat than I was expecting. Okay, at least we're now going to be pretty consistently fully defended. Okay. And here we can do FTL. Alright, and then probably just defend, strike, and strike. Alright. We should be dead next turn. Yeah, I'm really thinking that the Regret Curse might have been a mistake. Let's, uh, we got Stone Calendar at the end of turn 7. Deal 52 damage to all enemies. Impervious would be nice. Yeah, we do need the defense. Let's take it. I, I'm afraid I have to rest here. Uh, I am not confident in our ability to kill 
elites fast enough before we take a bunch of damage. Bash strike here. Okay, six incoming. Uh, probably just Sunder. Uh, wait, this is Sunder for 36 damage. That seems that seems pretty reasonable. Okay. All right, 21 incoming. Uh, let's do FTL. Impervious is perfect here. And then another strike. That's the best time Impervious could have shown up. Um, all right, and then Bash Strike kills. All right, actually this went over without too much difficulty. We got Bird Faced Urn. Whenever you play a power card, heal 2 HP. Uh, ooh, Juggernaut would be great, especially if we pick up Frost Orbs. But it's a gamble. Like, we, we don't have any Frost Orbs yet. Um, the other alternative would be Hyper Beam, which would help us out a lot. Um... Let's do Hyper Beam for now. We don't uh, depend on uh, relics or on orbs yet. So, we've got uh, backup preparation and Star Reach Combat. You draw two additional cards. That's uh, relatively useful. All right. So there's the Hyper Beam, uh, which can be very useful here. Uh, let's see what FTL draws us. Okay. So we can definitely survivor the regret. Now, unfortunately, uh. If we, we can't play Hyper Beam if we want to be fully defended, we need to play a defend. If we do that the turn after that, there's almost no chance of us perfecting unless we play the Impervious. Yeah, it's a risk I'm willing to take. Or uh, something I want to bet on. Hyper Beam wouldn't have killed anybody. Uh, Alright, we did get Impervious. Okay. So I think I'll do Feel No Pain and Impervious. Alright. Okay, so now we have another 9 incoming, and yeah, now we don't have any defense. Alright, we tried. Uh, here, I think I'll just do Bash Strike. Okay. It was reasonably feasible that we could have perfected that one, so I, I think it was worth it to try. Um, oh, both are attacking, actually. Let's just do Defend. Uh, hang on, so we have 6 from these. So that's uh, 11 plus 8. Yeah, we have to... Uh, Survive with the zap if we want to be fully defended. Okay. Next hyper beam should help us out a lot. Uh, actually, let's do sunder first. Okay. And then we can do hyper beam and a strike. All right. And then a simple strike should kill. Never mind, we didn't get it. Okay. I guess we definitely want to play our powers. Oh, and then uh, stone calendar will take care of it. Or this. Okay, we got Smiling Mask, the Merchant's Card Removal Service now always costs 50 gold, as well as Liquid Bronze, and a second Impervious. I am thinking of going for the Highlander modifier, so maybe I shouldn't take a second Impervious. Now, Exhume, once upgraded, would give uh, get that Impervious back. But I think Fission. Well, we still need to upgrade that. And we don't really have a good upgrade opportunity. I'll take Exhume for now. Okay. Here we have 11 incoming. I'm actually thinking of just Impervious. That way we don't take any damage. Let's do Impervious Defragment. Okay, that way we heal a little bit too. Okay, we're not getting attacked here. Um, let's just do Hyper Beam then. Alright. Okay, 10 incoming here. Let's do FTL, Survivor the Regret out. And then just uh, Double Strike. Perfect. Um... Flame Barrier, probably, for some defense. We're really lacking in the defense department. Ooh, Gremlin Knob again. Uh, do I want to do a big Sunder? Um, yeah, well, actually... Oh, 24 damage versus 12. And getting another Zap out. Yeah, let's just do a Sunder here. Okay. 14 incoming. Uh, Impervious would be an option if I feel confident enough that I will be able to kill. I do not, though. Yeah, the next turn we do have Hyper Beam, but that's only 26 damage. That's not enough. Um, I think instead we'll just do a Strike and Survivor the Regret out. Yeah, let's keep the Impervious in. Okay, another 16. Here I think we'll just do Bash and, um... The Fragment. Right? We don't really exhaust anything for Feel No Pain to be useful. So, yeah, let's do the Fragment. Okay. Alright, and now the Hyper Beam should be able to kill, right? Let's actually... 
Uh, yeah, I was thinking maybe we can draw another uh, power, but no, this is it. At gold-plated cables, your right more orbs triggers its passive and additional time. That's very useful. I don't think we need a second energy uh, focus potion. I will take an offering, though, though we won't be able to rest. But I think the extra energy will be very useful. Or we won't be able to heal that energy back up. Yeah, I guess at this point we can only use the offering twice. Well, not even twice, once. Because otherwise we will die. Um, hmm. That's not good. Can we deal enough damage here? I'm afraid we have to use Offering, then go into the next Elite fight with uh, very little HP. Uh, yeah, we have to, right? Because, well, I guess if we do... No, no, even just to defend won't be enough. Let's do Offering, sure. Not super happy about that. Ooh, also not super happy that a Regret might kill us now. Not good at all. Uh, strike, Strike. I should have drank the Strength Potion here. Hang on. Uh, he split at 33. If we play Zap, that's another 6 down. That's 35. And the Focus Potion, that's another... Ugh. It's cutting it really close, and then we'll take another 4 damage from the Regret. Yeah, that Regret was uh, maybe not the best idea. Oh, no, it did do 5. Alright, well, there, there goes that. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to try it again, but this time I won't pick up any curses. I think the curses were just um, just a little too much. So uh, I'll, I'll take the same path, and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so, um, I was able to beat the boss, uh, or the, the slime that I died before, and the uh, next boss, which was the, or elite, which was the Legavulin. Uh, there were some small changes, uh, because I didn't pick up, whoops, let me go back to the map, because I didn't pick up the curse at this question mark, instead I got max HP, and then also, I yeah, we, we, we are one relic behind here, because uh, we didn't get Maw Bank in that event. But then as a result, uh, I didn't take as much damage, so I didn't actually have to rest here. Instead, I upgraded the Sunder, uh, which was pretty neat. That helped me um, be much better at some of the other fights. But unfortunately, we're back to the situation where we're very low at HP. I actually don't think I need to rest here, because if I don't rest, the enemy will be attacking for 6. So as long as I have any defensive card available i should be fine on the other hand actually if we rest we would allow uh, we would be able to play offerings you know what i will rest let's be safe we already messed it up once okay so uh let's see um i probably want to do offering here okay then do bash very unfortunate to see flame bear here i would have loved to have it next turn uh defragment we can actually offering again thanks to exume do i want to do that maybe you know what? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, probably don't want to do Hyper Beam here. I think Sunder is just sufficient. Okay. Yep. 48 damage. That's not bad. We also have the Liquid Bronze, which I'm willing to drink if I have to. Yeah, probably... Actually, you know what? We don't need Impervious here. We can just do Defend and Survivor. Okay. Alright. Okay, so six incoming. Um, we do have a survivor here. I think we'll do Feel No Pain, Core Surge, and Survivor. Okay, so now we can play the Hyper Beam without worrying. That's, by the way, another card that I picked up. Um, that was after the last boss, which was uh, the Elite, Legavulin, which is Core Surge. Okay, so FTL. Um, we don't need to play Impervious just yet. We can just double defend and strike. Okay. Another six, um, Flame Bear, and not the best hand to show up, but sure. And then only a regular strike. Okay, so now we're not getting attacked this turn. Um, wow, that's a bad hand. All right, strike and zap. Okay, now we're getting attacked for 14. Uh, we can do FTL. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't defend against this, or, well, we can't fully defend against this. Hang on, Stone Killer will do 52 damage. You know what? This kills, right? Sunder. Um, 
Hang on, do I take damage from cards? No, taking damage from cards shouldn't uh, impact my per perfect here, right? Oh, and then stone calendar triggers before the cards. Perfect. All right, so we did perfect this elite, or the boss. We I don't think perfected any elite, though. Uh, I mean, we just barely made it through with some HP. Um, here... Uh, well, I don't want to take duplicates, so definitely not impervious. Um, double tap might be nice if we get an energy relic, because then we can double tap things like hyper beam, um, even core surge, or uh, sunder. Um, you know what? I'll take double tap. Uh, all right, no good energy relic. So we have coffee dripper gain energy at start of your turn. You can no longer rest at rest sites, and runic dome gain energy at start of your turn. You can no longer see enemy intents. Now, not seeing enemy intents makes it really hard to perfect. So I kind of feel we should do coffee dripper. A little dangerous though because now we can't rest at uh, rest sites which we uh might might need to do quite a lot all right so no five elite path to this floor i actually only see a wow not even a four elite path just three elites it's uh i was hoping for more here okay at least there are multiple three elites so i i do think now i will try to maximize question marks because that way i can get uh, i can try to get five curses again Ideally, we would also pick up some exhaust energies. All right, so there's a path with five question marks total and three elites. I think that's the best we can do in terms of question marks and elites. All right. Okay, uh, do I want to do offering? Yeah, yeah, I probably do. Also, probably a card we want to upgrade as soon as we can. Uh, probably double tab the hyper beam. That, that'll be 52 damage, right? That'll kill everything. Uh, and we don't have a power right. I do want to play powers just to heal, thanks to Bird Face Earn, but... Got a steroid potion here. Um, hologram, true grid. True grid would allow us to discard, uh, to exhaust curses. I think I'll take it and try to upgrade that as soon as we can. We have a lot of upgrades we need to do. Give me Necronomicon, please. Perfect. We got Necronomicon. The first attack you play, uh, played each turn that costs two or more is played twice. Up and pick up between a special curse. That's a second curse we have. Also, that way, our Sunder will be played twice. Our Hyperbeam will be tw played twice. Those are really good cards to be played twice. Um, remove all strikes and receive five bites. Now, we would lose max HP this way, but we would be able to heal, where which we cannot do currently at rest site. So actually, I think I will do that here. All right, so we got five bites. Um, let's go... Doesn't matter if we go left or right here. Uh, all right, let's see how this will go. Well, thanks to Necron Necronomicon, Thunder is played twice, so we can kill anybody. Let's see. Let's do FTL first. Um, well, we can't defend even if we kill somebody, but yeah, let's just do Sunder here. All right, and then um, if we actually never mind, we got energy back, right? So we can do Plane Bear. Never mind, we are fully defended. This is this is this is how I want turns to go. So so far so good. We are weakened. Actually, never mind. The uh, artifact saved us, and now Hyper Beam would be played twice if the enemy had enough HP. Uh, I think I'm definitely willing to fight here. A simple Hyper Beam should take care of it. Let's do Offering first. Okay, no... Well, I guess we have the Bash here. Yeah, that's. I forgot that's one of the cards that we can theoretically play twice. Let's double Bash here. Uh, core Surge. Um, I'll probably just True Grit. Let's Bite. Um, zap. And then True Grit. Okay. All right, yep, just double playing Hyper Beam should kill everything. Uh, you know what, I will, you know, let's actually see if we can get a, um, yeah, I will play another power just to heal up a little bit. Okay, I should have bite it bit first. Got Fast Lice Helix, prevent the first time you lose HP each combat, as well as Ornamental Fan, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Uh, Shrug it off might be in some good defense. It'll be Charge Battery, although we do already have a good amount of energy. Let's take Shrug it off. Okay. So 10 incoming here. This would be 64 damage. Uh, and hang on. Can we defend? Yeah, let's do uh, Sunder twice. And then we'll play one defend. That way the uh, buffer together with the defend will uh, not, not let us lose any HP. Here we can bite. And the survivor see what we draw. All right, that's fine. Okay. And then, yeah, we just bite to heal fully. All right, so far so good. Um, do I want a cold snap? It would be a type of defense, not not really what we want. Yeah, I'm afraid right now we have too many offensive uh, cards. We basically just have shrug it off, true grit, 
And then Flame Barrier, as well as the three defensive cards. Hmm, Clothline would also be played twice, thanks to Necronomicon. You're right, I'll take Clothline. Okay, we do have Impervious in our opening hand, which is great. We can double play Hyper Beam, which would kill almost everybody, right? Yeah, double play Hyper Beam. Okay, and then, uh, you know what, let's just kill. Get it over with. Okay, we got Nunchaku. Every time we play 10 attacks, gain energy, as well as a skill potion. And uh, a bear kid might be interesting. It would help with something like Impervious. I, I actually think bear kid might allow us to perfect some uh, longer fights if we get it out early. Let's take it. Um, all right, we cannot rest here, which we don't have to. We don't want to, actually. Uh, there are lots of things we want to upgrade. So I do want to upgrade the Hyper Beam. I do want to upgrade. Actually, Sunder is already upgraded. Uh, Liel, let's upgrade Hyper Beam. That way, double playing that will be 68 damage. That's uh, AoE. That's that's pretty powerful. Okay, yeah, I was kind of hoping we wouldn't be attacked because we can't. Actually, you know what? We can defend if we play the Flame Barrier and then we have the buffer. I think it's definitely worth it to do Hyper Beam. You know what? I will actually throw the Fear Potion. Um, that way we'll do a lot more damage. Okay. And then probably just do Flame Barrier here. All right. Okay, fully defended. Here we can, uh, we don't even need to heal. I'll do the fragment still and then double bite. Okay. Should be able to kill here, never mind. No, yeah, we can, okay. We could have defended if we weren't able to kill, but we're fine. All right, we got bronze scale, Sarge come with three thorns, as well as a strength potion and uh, do I want an echo form? I mean, it'll just be really, really powerful. It's just very expensive. This might be nice to just get rid of orbs and gain energy instead. We just need to upgrade it. Which we could over here. Yeah, fine. Let's take Fission. Alright, here we got Ancient Tea Set. Whenever you enter a rest site, it's our next combo with two extra energy. Alright, here we got a regular fight. Um, probably want to do... Let's see what FTL gives us. Okay, probably definitely do a flame barrier. And then, um, well, unless we play to defense, we won't be able... You know what? Let's play to defense. That way we'll actually hang on to our buffer for next turn. Or for another turn. Okay, no one is attacking. Maybe this is when I do barricade. Um, well, well, I guess I can double play clothesline instead. Yep, damage. Better. We can also... Yeah, let's do fission. I don't think we'll need that orb for much longer. Okay. Alright, 9 incoming. Uh, we can do Impervious. I don't really want to do Offering. Um, but you know what? We have the buffer, so we won't actually take any damage. Uh, yeah, let's actually... Hang on. If I do double tap Hyper Beam, will it be played three times? One. Well, actually, it killed after two. Alright. Uh, definitely not a Rampage. Uh, maybe Iron Wave? Yeah, some defense. Uh, that, that this would be our third relic or our third curse, and thanks to bag of preparation, we already have a seven uh, deck opening hand. So having a curse in there is not too big of a deal. The pair up and pick up ratio max should be by uh, ten. Okay, here let's upgrade. Um, do I want to upgrade? No, let's upgrade the fission. Get at least some use out of it. Okay. All right, so, well, there is a Fission. Um, we can double play Clothline to weaken the backliner. Let's actually do that. Okay, then Fission. All right. Um, do I want to do Offering? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, we can actually exhume the Offering, but I don't think we need to. Uh, let's do Iron Wave to be fully defended. We can play a lot of things here. The Bite. Um... Ragadoff gives us Hyper Beam, which I think I'll play. Okay. And then we can do uh, Zap for no reason. A Fragment for no reason. And yeah, I think that's, that's a pretty good turn. Okay. So we can double play Bash. Okay. And then kill the bird. And then kill this guy. Yeah, so far this is going great. Uh, thanks to Necronomicon in, in the most part, really. Do I want Sever Soul? 
That would allow allow me to get rid of curses and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I think I will. Yeah, let's take it. All right, these guys again. Uh, yeah, just double play hyperbeam. Now it's also upgraded, so uh, perfect. All right, got the boot. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five, as well as a speed potion, which I don't think we need, and a buffer. Yeah, I also think we should upgrade that buffer. We should also uh, really find a shop. We have a lot of gold to spend. All right, so here I think if we get a barricade out early, that would be good. Um, do I want to do hyperbeam this early? It'd be a little dangerous. Also, I would like to keep the... Um, I would like to play the OE card next turn rather than this turn, but I think there's nothing better we can really do, so let's do, uh, let's do hyperbeam twice. And then just play all the bites. Um, okay. Right, everybody's attacking us this turn. We do have a flame barrier. Let's see what FTL draws us. Okay, feel no pain is not gonna make a big difference. Let's see what skill potion we get. Spot weakness, consume chaos. None of these are great. I mean, I guess I can do spot weakness. Yeah, that's the best one here. Um, so spot weakness. Actually, hang on. So flame. We we are getting attacked for thirty-two. Flame barrier is twelve, so we still need to defend for twenty. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything. Well, this is another seven. No, I don't think there's anything we can do. Oh, I guess we have a buffer. Yeah, so we really just need to defend against 14. Um, okay, all right. So then we can just do Flame Barrier Iron Wave. All right, um, let me do Spot Weakness first, Flame Barrier, and then Iron Wave. Okay, and then I'll, uh, I don't really need a Zap, so I'll throw in a Field No Pain. Okay, we're losing our buffer, but we still actually have a buffer card in, in our deck, so. Okay, didn't draw this turn. Yeah, now I'm thinking the speed potion would have been nice. If I had the speed potion, that would have been... We have 32 again, and we're currently defended against um, 18. With the speed potion, it will be another 15. That'll be exactly 33. Yep. Should have taken that speed potion when I had the chance. Oh, well. Yeah, if I had that speed push now, I would be fully defended, but not much use lamenting that now. Uh, we can double play the Sunder. I'll just play it once. And then, uh, will it double play Clothesline now? No, no, that, that will only happen once now. All right, and then I think we'll just do Buffer and True Grit. Okay. We're also going to get a bunch of debuffs here. Alright, uh, do I want to get a barricade out? Uh, probably not. Hang on, let's actually kill this guy first. Oh, he's dead. Uh, what's coming up? Mission might be nice. Uh, let's see what we get here. Double tap, that's not that great. Alright. Still have two buffers, but I guess we're not perfecting anymore, so I'm not, I'm not sure why I'm worrying so much about, uh, perfecting. Let's do fish in here. Or surge offering. Okay, and then uh, we can uh, zoom something. Maybe another core surge. Doesn't matter. If we had barricade out, I would have played. I would have exhumed an impervious. But maybe I won't actually. Well, I kind of feel like I should do something. You know what? Let's exhume the offering. Play that again. Okay, so. Necronomicon isn't active yet, right? So we can double play the bash. Okay. And then I'll do bite. Zap. No, I don't need zap. Let's do true grit and hope. Okay, perfect. I didn't hit the sever soul. Now I'll just do sever soul here. Okay. All right, 20 incoming. Um, let's do FTL. Okay, shrug it off gives us spot weakness. All right. Do I want to double play clothesline on the minions or you know what? Let's focus on the back banner. Okay. And then um, just bite here. Oh, perfect. Don't kill and killed everybody. Yeah, if we had that speed push and there's that one turn we didn't perfect, uh, we could have perfected this fight. Uh, don't want to take any of those. Actually, Berserk might be. Well, it's too late now, right? Okay. Um, Black Star, definitely. We do want to plan to hit a lot of elites. Okay, we got the time eater at the end. 
All right, let's see. So one, two, three. Again, only three elites. I was really hoping for four or five. Okay, yeah, only three elites. There's oh no, never mind. There's a four elite path. Yeah, on the far left. That right? I'm not missing another four elite path. Yeah. So if we go on the far left, we'll hit a very early. Actually, no, we'll do a question mark early on, and then at the end, before the last lead, we'll have another shop. There we can spend all of our gold. I think that's worth it. All right, so 15 incoming. I think we'll double play Sunder here. Actually, or should we just double play Sever Soul? You know what? I'll do Feel No Pain first. Uh, and then Sever Soul for some defense too. Okay. Um, and then Bite. I guess we, we uh, are going to use our buffer anyway, so maybe I should have Sundered instead. Uh, you know what? Hyper Beam kills either way. All right. Got a fear potion, which I think I'll take over this. Oh, steroid might be nice with the artifact that we have. So, you know what? I don't think we need the regen potion yet. Dual wield would allow us to dual wield two cost cards, but um, do we need rupture for anything? We don't really lose HP from cards. Actually, I guess we do have the offering. Uh, well, you know what? I'll take it with the hope that I'll take more curses. We still need two more to get the curses modifier. Um, so Sunder kills one of you. Actually, it kills two of you. You know what? Let's uh, double tap. Hang on. No, I can't do that. All right. Let's do Iron Wave. You. Then Sunder to kill one of you. Okay. And then we can double tap the Bite. That won't kill either. Uh, hang on. Seven with vulnerability. will be ten. Yeah, that's not enough. All right, fine. We'll take some damage here then. Um, I will still double tap the bite. Okay, that's fine. So we'll take seven damage here. Should be able to get that back thanks to the bird face urn or our bites. Um, here, I think I'll do impervious and then double bash. Okay, and then actually even FTL. All right. And then we need a little bit more defense here. We can actually do Survivor. Um, and then the Bite plus the Orb will be enough. Perfect. I should have played the Fragment. No reason not to. I would have healed a little more. Um, none of these. I uh, have to go this way. Um, is there any colorless cards that we desperately want? Not really, actually. Yeah, I'll just take one here. Um, Discovery is nice. Dark Shackles is nice. Actually, all of these are nice. I'll take Discovery. Might give us something really nice. Um, oof. I'll lose one of the bites. I don't think I need five of them. Um, now, if we take Wraith, we would unfortunately lose our Highlander modifier, which we're currently slated to receive. Hmm. I also don't really need to heal. But also, if we take this, we won't be able to get the Highland modifier. Actually, we can take the Madnesses and remove one at the shop. No, but we also don't want to uh, make uh, high energy car card zero cost since we have the Necronomicon. You know what? Let's just lose the max HP here. Play it safe. There's a small... Actually... Yeah, I guess we don't have any more crush marks. There's a small chance we get a... Um, Regular fight here. It'll give us a curse. And then this question mark might give us one more curse. But, I mean, it's a it's a long shot. Still worth trying, I think. Alright, FTL. Um, discovery. Gives us... Uh, well, go, th go for the ice and spot weakness are pretty useless here. I think I'll just have to take Reckless Charge. And I also think I have to take Barricade, actually. Now, we do have a buffer active here. So, let's just do Reckless Charge. All right, so yeah, 18 incoming. Uh, we can only defend for 14 unless we do the offering. Hmm. If we do the offering, though, uh, we'll lose our buffer, which may uh, mean that we won't be able to defend. Well, this way we also lose the buffer, but at least we'll be fully defended. <sighs> I'll risk it. It's a risk. Yep, it's a risk that was not worth it. Ugh, that's unfortunate. All right, so um, Iron Wave, Bite, um, Sunder, and then True Grid. 
Oh, never mind. We're fully defended. How did that happen? Oh, thanks to uh, our ornamental fan. Good. All right. 45. Well, this is where we need the buffer. Is there anything we can do? Uh, well, we need to draw the impervious, which we don't currently have. Um, anything we want to... Actually, you know what? I will exhume the offering. Hope to fish for the impervious. Or a buffer. Okay. Yeah, I'm not complaining for a buffer. Um, all right. Let's do buffer. And then I think I'll double play clothesline. And then core search. Yeah, that, that, that is fine. I'm okay with a buffer here. Holy well, we forgot I had it. Uh, Alright, here, since we do have the barricade, I'm totally okay playing a bunch of defensive cards. Let's just shrug it off. Uh, flame barrier. And then uh, zap. Okay. Alright, here we have 12 incoming. Uh, do I want to double play hyper beam? Uh, you know what? Let's do the following. Let's do feel no pain, then fission. Okay. Then we can uh, actually double play Sunder. Actually, double playing Hyper Beam does more damage. Now yeah, let's do that. And then we can kill with Sunder. All right, that actually was a perfect. We got Happy Flower every three turns, gain extra energy as well as Push and Belt. Uh, up and pick up, gain two potion slots. Very nice. Um, do I want Brutality? It would help with the Rupture, but also will invalidate the um, buffer swim that we have. Okay, um, upgrading the barricade to make it a little... Actually, no, upgrading discovery first. Okay. Alright, Reptomancer. Uh, well, that's a definite double hyperbeam here, right? No questions about that. Do I want to bash, double bash the enemy first? No, you know what? I will throw a fear potion and then double up on the hyperbeam. Okay. And then we can do bash and iron wave and, uh... Nothing else. Okay, we do have a lot incoming here. Um, let's do offering first since we can't defend otherwise. Alright, can we kill somehow? You know what? I will exhume another offering. Okay, well there's buffer that might help. Uh, let's do feel no pain. Buffer. But we do have 26 incoming. Um, hmm, we can't kill the backliner either. Uh, hang on. Can we defend? We can only defend for 13. Okay, that together with the... Let's do that. Together with the um, buffers should be enough, right? Okay. And then we can double bite here. Okay. Alright, we are also weakened though, which is unfortunate. Uh, well, we do have Impervious here. That's not going to be enough though. Uh, Sever Soul will be 18 times 2. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Good, we got Omemori. Negate the next two curses you obtain. Now, I definitely don't want that. As well as Blood Violet. At the start of each combat, heal 2 HP. Um, can't take... Well, can't take these two and don't really want to take Multicast. Here we got Kune. Every time you pay 3 attacks in a single turn, gain 1 Dexterity. Okay, Nemesis again. 18 incoming right off the bat. Um, let's do... So we do have to play the Impervious, right? No way around that. Um, Alright, let's just do Feel No... Hang on. Yeah, Feel No Pain, Impervious, and then Defragment. Too bad we couldn't get the uh, double damage Thunder out. Uh, Alright, well, there's Buffer, which is nice. Um, let's play that, and then I... Probably will actually double playing Sever Soul doesn't matter too much, so I'll just play Iron Wave and Zap. Okay. All right, 45. We are defending against that, unless we actually we can do an offering. Yeah, why not? We still have lots of buffers left. I think here I'll do Barricade, Exhume the Impervious. Mm, do I want to do that actually? That's 36 plus another 8. Yeah, that, that, might, that probably was not the best idea there. Let's just double bite here. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep the Impervious for later. Why not? Alright. Another 18. Um, we can double tap the Core Search. Actually, let's see what FTL gives us first. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what Shrug it off gives us. Okay, so to perfect, we have to drink the Essence of Steel. 
All right, and then here I think we can double tap the core surge, and then I'll play rupture. Sure. All right. Okay, another eighteen. Um, let's do discovery, which gives us nothing great. Uh, I mean, I guess we can do cold snap because that way we can charge the fission or have an extra card draw and energy from fission. All right, flame bear is actually a good idea here, and then we can triple or double tap but then thanks to necron come play three times close line all right and then just bite okay another 33 uh not much we can do about that let's see what discovery gives us actually impervious that's nice iron wave and then bite and then uh yeah sure let's do hyper beam all oh, right let's play twice i forgot about that Okay, and then here just sever soul twice. Okay. All right, here we got Tori. Whenever you receive five or less unblock attack damage, reduce it to one. As well, strawberry up and pick up ratio max HP by seven. That's Neko oil and none of these. Right? We still need one card to get the uh, extra modifier, but I don't think we need any of them. Seek might be nice. Let's take Seek. All right, here we got. This was a plant shop, right? Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of gold to spend, so let's get Juju Blaster. Normal enemy combats are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. Sundial, every three times you shuffle a draw pile, gain extra energy. And the Abacus, whenever you shuffle your discard pile, gain six block. Uh, do we want to take Entrench? Uh, I don't really think we can find use for it, but might as well. We have gold to spend. Is there anything we want to remove? Now, there is a very, very, very small chance that here we have a fight that gives us the Parasite, and here we have the event that gives us Doubt. Now, again, very small chance, but I think as a result, I don't want to remove curses. I do want to remove the zap, actually. That's something that we don't really need. Okay. And then uh, we can get potion, so I will get a focus potion and an essence of steel. Not super happy about snake oil, but let's keep it for now. Let's also take... Um, probably don't need steam barrier. Secret weapon put into... Actually, secret weapon would be nice. And then, sure, let's take Entrench. All right, still have 500 gold left over. Okay. We didn't encounter the giant head here, by the way, which is, uh, which is fine. Um, so, hang on. Do we want to do any attack that we want to bring in? Not really. Yeah, let's just do double play the Hyper Beam. Okay. I mean, we may as well bring in... Actually, let's just do Clothline. Okay. All right, here we have 27 incoming. Uh, let's see what Discovery gives us. Uh, battle Trent. So leave will be nine plus another seven. That's not gonna be enough to defend. Unless we play three attacks, which we can't, well, no, we can't really. Um, let's do Battle Trance here. See what we draw. Okay. So now we can defend in True Grid. That's um, 14. Uh, which is still not enough. Hmm. Well, with the Essence of Steel, it would be enough. Yeah, I think we have to do that. So defend, true grit, see what it hits. Okay. Then probably just double play the uh, Sever Soul. Actually, yeah, we can double play the Sever Soul. Yeah, let's do that. And then... That way, we can actually be fully defended with just this and still keep our buffer. Okay. Not getting attacked here. I think I'll do FTL. Uh, Shrug it off gives us a bite. We can do Iron Wave and bite. Okay. Alright, 39 incoming. Oof. We do have a buffer for the incoming 30, but then 9 will be a problem unless we can kill the backliner. Uh, I think I'll do Sneko Oil here. I think that's the only chance we have of perfecting. Yep. Uh, let's do Sunder. Okay, then Barricade. Um, and I'll do Defragment for no reason. I mean, as well, let's do here. Let's do Feel No Pain and Rupture. Okay. Alright, so now our buffer saves us from the 30. Okay. And now, well, we are um, confused, but uh, we can do Fission. 
Okay, draw a card. Uh, let's do offering first. Mm -hmm. And then we can do... Uh, yeah, we do have the bear kit out, so we can do core search, impervious, buffer, bite, uh, secret weapon. We haven't used Necronomicon this turn yet, right? Let's get the center. Actually, have we? Paying attention. Oh, no, we haven't. Okay. That letter open it. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. This well as Pendip. Every tenth attack you play deals double damage. Um, do I want to take a feed? I mean, it's a little late, but it might give us a tiny bit of max HP. Eh, I don't think we need it. No reason to not take it, though. Okay. All right, 30 incoming here. Um, probably just double play Bash to keep him vulnerable. All right. And then here we can do, let's see, uh, let's seek, hang on, what do I want to seek? Uh, let's seek Barricade, actually. No, let's seek Buffer. Yeah. Or should we seek, hang on, do we seek Fission? No, let's just seek the Buffer, that'll make it easier. Okay, and then I, uh, True Grid won't save us fully, right? Is there any attack? Actually, we can seek the um, core search. Okay, that will actually keep all three buffers. Mm -hmm. 40 incoming. Here we can just uh, double tap the Sever Soul. All right. Okay. Here, uh, let's see, Fission. FTL. Well, I don't think we can use feed in this combat, but all right. We also try to rig the pendip to be active at the end of this fight. Discovery gives us uh, ugh, none of these. Really, none of these. I'll take intimidate. Sure, the least disruptive one. Iron wave, rupture, feel no pain. I mean, we have the um, buffer, so we don't really need to defend. I just want to increment the pendip a little more before we. Finish this. Um, hmm, can't really do that. I'll just do Hyper Beam here. Okay. Alright. We got Fire Potion. Deal uh, 20 damage as well as Shockwave. Hologram. Hologram would be useful to get some, uh, some interesting cards back. Shockwave would be nice. Um, I'll do Hologram. I think I'll be safer and yeah needless to say well this is good that it's another shot but we won't be able to get five re uh, five uh, curses anymore so i'm going to remove um which should i remove probably the wraith um do i want to take on, what should i take here probably none of the cards i do want to take a block potion that might help uh probably don't need the um Focus potion, definitely don't need that. Let's take the block potion instead. And then we can also get um, probably Vajra. At least Waffle is not that important since we're already at full HP. But you know what? Having some little bit of max HP is probably nice. Yeah, so at least Waffle will pick up, up raise your max HP by 7 and heal all of your HP. So as Vajra starts to come with one strength. I can't really see anything else we need. The unseasoned top would have been stopped by our curses. And uh, you know what? Maybe I'll take a go for the ice here. Yeah. We can the enemy might be nice. Alright, what to upgrade next? Um, making the barricade a little cheaper might help, especially with this upcoming combat. Alright, so. Okay, right off the bat, we have 21 incoming. Let's drink the strength potion. Um, we should be able to defend, yeah. Let's do fission. Okay, we can double play the Hyper Beam, but do we want to? Yes, we do, right? Definitely do. Okay. Uh, let's first make sure we're fully defended. So, defend, survivor, and then entrench. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, Hyper Beam twice. Okay. And then just bite. Twice. Okay. So far, so good. We still have one buffer active. 26 incoming. Uh, yeah, flame. This might be hard to defend against. 
So I'm thinking, uh, actually, we can core search the steroid potion. That's probably useful. I have extra strength. Yeah, let's do that. Core search, then drink the steroid potion. Okay, and then uh, Sunder will be double damage. Worth it. Okay, so we're, we are losing our buffer here. All right. Luckily, we're not being attacked this turn since he's um, um, buffing. We can only play one more card, though. I think I'll play the feed here just to exhaust it. Okay. All right, so now we have 27 incoming. Let's drink the... Uh, throw the weak potion here. I'll throw the fire potion. Let's do offering. I would like to get the bear kid out, but uh, we then have to worry about the fence. Um, do I want to get a buffer out? Probably not. Let's do seek. You know what? I think I'll seek the barricade. Okay. Barricade. Um, we can actually exhume the offering again, which I think I will. Okay, play that again. Alright. Um, Iron Wave. Anything we want to get back with hologram? Probably discovery, actually. Okay. Let's see what that gives us. Uh, buffer. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Another defend. Okay, we should be fully defended now. Um, and then let's do... Uh, Necronomicon hasn't been activated yet, right? No, it has. Oh, right, because I... Well, I'm not sure what I played twice, but clearly I have. I did something. Um, so we still need to play two cards... Do I want to do double tap Sever Soul? I think I'll stop me though. Actually, I can't, right? So let's just do two bites. One, two. Okay. Still have a buffer active and still have a buffer card. 22 incoming. Um, so Secret Weapon would draw us a either Bash or Clothesline. I think Bash is probably better. Okay. Double play bash. And then, hang on, can we? Oh, we do still have a buffer, okay. So then I'll do go for the ice, feel no pain, and rupture. Mm -hmm. All right, there goes our buffer. Okay, here we get um, double play. Hang on, let's do, let's do impervious and buffer, actually. Let's be safe. Uh, and I'll do FTL, sure. All right, we have double damage active for next turn, so that sh could kill, uh, and it does. Phew. All right, perfected, I think. Oh, we didn't perfect the second floor boss, though. But other than that, we did pretty well. 1257, that actually, I was hoping for more. So, yeah, pretty much all the five elites on the first floor we didn't perfect. Actually, we only perfected... Wait, how do we perfect eight elites? We must have perfected something on the first floor. I can't remember what it was, though. Huh. Yeah, I thought I didn't perfect any elites on the first floor. Maybe I got lucky with the sentries or something. But anyway, uh, we did perfect everything after the first floor. So all all the seven elites on the second and third floor. And we perfected the first and third boss. We got a collector bonus? Oh. Well, that was dumb. I totally forgot about the bites. Yeah, I was in line for the Highlander modifier. I just completely forgot about the bites. Well... I, yeah, that was that was dumb of me. I um I shouldn't have taken it. I don't think the bites really gave us that much HP. Uh, I I definitely think we could have survived without them. Yeah, that was a, that was a big big mistake. Actually, in that way, we also lost a bunch of max HP. We if we hadn't lost the max HP, which actually I can calculate, it was thirty percent of seventy, uh, which is about uh twenty one, I believe. Um, because then we could have probably gotten another 50 points for stuffed for having more than, more than enough max HP. Yeah, so we could have had at least, uh, so 75 uh, points more for the Highlander modifier, which would put it as, uh, at 1332. And then another, um, 50, I believe, for stuffed, which would be 1382. Uh, I mean, it's a little late for me to complain about that, but, um, that's something definitely I have to keep in mind later. That bites count against the Highlander modifier. Yeah, 13, what did I say, 82 or something? That would have put us uh, very high up, but currently we are... Oh, right, I guess we lost our first run anyway, so we're 900-something, but um, 
we could have relatively easily made it to the top 10. But uh, yeah, so definitely picking up that extra regret curse in the first floor was uh, just a big problem. We just didn't have the ability to discard it. I was really hoping to find some exhaust energies and we just never got it. But anyway, it was a very interesting run. Uh, Chimera became Hunter. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.